I really felt that there was a need to create a luxe line of artfully minded shoes that were cruelty free in all aspects. But the one aspect of being a vegan that was really challenging for me, honestly, was shoes. I'm one of the biggest shoe junkies on the planet. It was just so hard to find beautifully designed, long lasting, high quality shoes that weren't made out of some type of animal product. Whether it was leather or fur trim or snakeskin, a lot of people don't know that the adhesives themselves are made out of animal products. So seeing what was going on out there in the shoe world and everybody kept saying, Rebecca Mink, Rebecca Mink. And I was like, man, who is this girl? I think right away, Rebecca and I both knew that this was something much bigger than just shoes. One of the things that I'm the most proud of when it comes to Bondi Shoes is really the family of people behind the brand. They're artisans and we aren't afraid to be bold and to be different. There's so much love that goes into each design and each pair of shoe. It's been so amazing to learn so much about materials. I assumed that vegan leather was just plastic, some type of unsustainable material. Some of our vegan leathers are made of compressed apples. Nowadays, there are so many amazing options that you can use as animal substitutes. Another thing that I'm really excited about is the fact that I'm making something for everybody. I love all types of different styles, so you can look forward to everything else under the sun. When I think about veganism, I think about what it's like to be a modern vegan and to express ourselves, whether it's through our makeup or through the clothes we wear or how we do our hair or the shoes that we wear. Bondi Shoes isn't just about making cool looking shoes. I do want to change the world and I do want to help. This is just another vehicle to make it really easy to live a compassionate, cruelty-free life.